Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you and play for you Colors Free. This is a new instrument that's filled with sampled analog synths, dusty lo-fi textures and colorful vintage keys. You can create your own sounds, you can use included presets to get inspired, and the great thing is it's completely free and you can use it in pretty much every DAW that supports VST, AU and AAX plugins. So, let's play it. The first thing I want to do is play some of the presets that we have in Colors Free, and I'm going to show you how you can select these presets. And it's extremely easy. As you can see, this is the interface, and pretty much any one of these shapes contain a sound. So let's start with vintage strings.
So I think this gives you an idea of what sounds you can expect from Colors Free. Now I'm going to show you how you can start creating your own sounds. So I'm going to jump into the easel page here and I'm going to show you how you can start creating a sound from scratch. This is where we can have all our four layers that we can use in order to design a sound. Now, one really cool thing that you can do straight away is you can hit this random button here and Colors Free will create a randomized sound for you. So if I click on random, Colors Free immediately comes up with a sound. And I can keep on trying this until I find a sound that I like. Really cool function. Now, if you want to start creating your sound from scratch, all you need to do is hit reset here. And now we have a clean slate. So as you can see, we have four layers. Every layer can have a different type of sound. So as you can see in the first layer here, I have eternal finger. And I can browse through all these different waveforms. And right here we have quite a few controls. So we can solo the layer, we can pan it left and right. We can transpose it. So we can create some really interesting layers. We might want to transpose one octave higher or maybe a fifth. In the first layer, we also have an ARP section. So I can activate an arpeggiator, let's say an eighth note arpeggiator. And I can have different modes here. So I can have played mode and chord mode. Then we have the tone control. Here is where we can control how bright or dark this layer is going to be. And we also have a low cut filter. And then we also have an attack control. So we can have a fast attack or a slow attack. Last but not least, we have this icon right here. If you click on this button, this means that we will activate modulation wheel control. So by activating this, I'm going to have the volume of this layer controlled by the mod wheel. So for the fun of it, I'm going to go and add another layer. And in this case, I'm going to have OP1 New Day. And for the second, third and fourth layer, we can also have some modulation options. So as you can see here, I can activate modulation and I can time it. I can have the amount control here and I can also have the waveform for the modulation. So once I set up all this, all I need to do is click on this play icon right here. And as you can see, we have this flashing animation here indicating the modulation. Maybe I want to make it a slower attack this one. And maybe I can go here and add another one. Maybe the prophecy will be nice for this one. And I'm going to add a little bit of modulation here, but maybe, maybe faster. Now, the last layer contains some really interesting sounds. If I activate it, you will see that we have quite a few different sounds here. And I'm going to solo it so you can hear. So we have Underworld. So these are very different sounds. These are beautiful textures that can add a little bit of grid and interest to your sound. White noise, tape loop, 
Vinyl Crackle and Ecolette. So I'm gonna go for Vinyl Crackle for this one. And now let's try and play all the layers together. And remember, the level of layer one is right here on my mod wheel. So as you can see, I can create a really complex and evolving sound in no time. Now, I'm going to show you what we can find in the master page right here. So right here we have effects, we have the decay control. Let me show you a little bit of what you can find here in this page. First of all, we have the decay and this I can make it long or short. We also have the drive control, and this I can control with the mod wheel if I choose to do so by activating this button. And if I want to set the range for the mod wheel, I can click on this E icon here, and you can see that I have my mod wheel range right here. So we can say I want to go all the way from zero to maximum, all the other way around, and everything in between. So let's try the drive control first. And let's switch to lo-fi. So this can give you really nice lo-fi sounds if you want to. Then we have the filter section and this can be an EQ or a low pass filter. So EQ. And the filter can be switched from sweep, so it will animate and auto. And again, this can be controlled with the mod wheel if we want to. Then we have the chorus amount. And again, we have dedicated controls for the chorus and it's controllable using the mod wheel, followed by a delay. A reverb. And again, for the reverb, we can have different algorithms. For example, I can have the infinite reverb algorithm. And of course, we can control the reverb amount using our mod wheel right here. So I can go from 100% no reverb to maximum reverb. And last but not least, we have the main section here. If I activate mod wheel for this one, then I can control the volume for all the layers. And if we hit the E button here, here is where we can set up our mod wheel control. And we can also activate another cool feature, which is the chop. And this allows us to create some really interesting rhythmic effects. Of course, I can time it if I want. I can have it in 30 second notes. And I can create my own curves. So as you can see, there are many options for sculpting your own custom sounds in Colors Free. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have loads of fun with Colors Free and I hope you make some great music with it. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.